Hello everybody and welcome to or back to my channel. So today is a very exciting day. I'm finally on the road to a post lockdown slash quarantine glow up. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. So today I'm actually going to the hairdressers. I'm so bloody excited. I'm like, I cannot tell you. This isn't just an at-home glow up. I'm going to the hairdressers. I'm getting these dreadful roots out of my hair. We're going full. Well, I'm not going to tell you what we're doing yet, but you'll see the end result. I'm so excited, so nervous, but still, we roll with it. I've got my mint green tea right here, just green tea with a few fresh mint leaves from the garden because we're bougie and I'm gonna get ready with you so let's get into the video first I've got to get ready and this is the first part of the glow up because I don't know about anyone else but lockdown I just haven't been bothering with makeup and you know what it makes me feel shit about myself I'm not gonna lie I just look at my face and I'm like I am disgusting so first step I've already put all my concealer on I don't use foundation I don't know I'm not a beauty guru like I just put concealer all over my face, I really don't know if that's okay, but <laughs> we move. And now I'm just putting on some mascara and then I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyeliner and eyeshadow because we're feeling extra and this is the glow up video. So I've got to go all out there. Don't know about anyone else, but I am like the messiest person at putting mascara on. It goes everywhere, like all over my eyes, I'm like a panda and I'll literally show you afterwards. I have to take it all off with like a cotton wool pad thing, cotton wool bud, that's it. I'm like hurrying up, like I'm speaking fast because one, I'm freaking out because what if this goes all wrong? Like I'm going to a new place I haven't been before and I have serious trust issues. Like I'm that person who does not let a trainee hairdresser do it. I have to wait, which I have done for like three weeks in order for the top colorist to do it because trust issues are real and little story time. My mum was a hairdresser and before I never had my hair done. I only used to have a dip dyed. Who else? Who else had a dip dye? Because I think we all went there. I think we were all there. So I used to have a long dip dye in like year seven. To be honest, I actually think I kind of rocked it. I'm not gonna lie. And I did buy a red one, but I never did that because I was too pussy and I'm kind of glad I didn't now because it kind of made me look like an emo. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but that's not my vibe. So I used to just always cut my hair and didn't have to pay, it was great. And then I wanted to go a bit extra in the end of December. This, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I wanted to go a bit extra for my birthday slash Christmas present. So I got it done as a joint birthday Christmas present kind of thing. Cause it was fucking expensive. I never realized how expensive the hairdressers are. Like they're gonna be making a bare money now that lockdown's over. I'm not getting a cut because I'm just gonna get my mum to do it because I've got to save those peas and that's about it really. James Charles would be cringing right now. So this is how we're looking. And then I take, I know it's not sustainable, I'm sorry. Like if you have any other ways to do it, um, let me know. I'm gonna sip first. And I just like, sip it. <laughs> you I know, but it's my skin at the end of the day, my face. And then I just go under the eye like that. So I'll give you a little update on life really because it's been a bit busy, it's been a bit busy. I'll tell you where I've been, what I've been doing. So basically, I didn't upload on YouTube for a month and you know why? Because my fucking MacBook broke, didn't it? I had issues with it before and I got it fixed before. But basically, long story short, under John Lewis had water damage. They repaired it, then it kept breaking down like constantly like, every like three months or something. So I bought it to the Apple store first time and they like fixed it, but they didn't. And then, because it happened again last month, and you know why? The Apple store person looked at it again, had to wait in the queue for like, fucking, well, firstly, Leicester, which is the nearest city to me, went into a local lockdown, so I couldn't go to there to get it fixed. So I had to go all the way to Milton Keynes. That is a trek. So I had to go all the way to Milton Keynes. My appointment was booked and everything with the Genius Bar. By the way, I've done that. And then had to wait again for like another hour over my appointment time. I've been there for fucking ages. To then find out that John Lewis, their repair people, can't find my eyebrow pencil. Well, it's not even a pencil. I don't know what this is. It's like a stick thing. And it has like a fluffy thing on the end. I don't really know. All of this is really old by the way. So I don't even know the brand, which is great because I just use all old makeup and then all the new makeup I buy is vegan, like um, Kat Von D and stuff. The Genius Bar then, she said to me, 
I know why it's not working properly, and I was like, oh god, why? Because John Lewis put non-Apple parts in the MacBook. So they basically put fake Apple parts into the machinery thing, you know, the back of the MacBook, I don't know what it's called. So that was why it kept breaking down, because obviously it's not fucking Apple parts, is it? So not gonna fucking work. So, they couldn't fix it, because it's non-Apple parts, so then I had to get it sent off back to John Lewis. Which took another, like, I don't even know how long, and then like three weeks later, I got it back, and finally it worked. So that's why I was not on YouTube, so... If you don't follow my Instagram, which is Scarlet VFit, so basically the same as my YouTube but just without the spaces, then you wouldn't know when I'm gone. So I would follow my Instagram if I were you if you thought I was leaving, because I didn't. But if you stuck around, you're a legend, so thank you. Oh, sun is out, oh, yeah, it's getting that time. That's why I haven't been posting and uploading, but we're back. So that's all that matters. Right, with my eyebrows, I'm not very much of an eyebrow person. I used to be a person who's like, I used to tweet, I actually did tweet, like, I am proud to say I'm not that girl who ever touches her eyebrows. Look at me now. <laughs> Other stuff happened, loads of deep shit I don't want to get into. Just all being very, very lit and not. But we move, we move, and we're going, we're looking to the future. Oh, and guess what? Every day, you know what I'm thinking? I should have been in Australia right now. If you haven't watched my first ever YouTube video, it was like a Q&A, and I just said about what I'm doing in Australia, which, funny enough, pandemic wasn't a thing back then, so... Yeah, my flights have been cancelled. I've got flight credits, so as soon as Australia say that I can go over there, I'm over there straight away, because I hate this country. <laughs> I'm getting to that age where I'm just like, I need independence. Right now, I'm trying to find my eyeliner, but it's so small that I can't find it. It's literally on edge, is what I mean. <laughs> it's my mum's old one. Not in Australia right now, which is really, really bugging me. But we have to look on the bright side. And you know what the bright side is? That I'm gonna start my personal training course and I'm so fucking excited. I think I'm gonna start this weekend, actually. And then I'm going to do the top level personal training course, which is level four. I also am doing a nutrition course so I can make meal plans and everything too. So I'll be fully qualified, so get ready. For me to be your future coach, just hit me up in the DMs. I can answer all your questions and I'll get you on the roll. Becoming your best self and being your best friend at the same time because no one wants a trainer who doesn't care about you, so. But yeah, that's a little life update. Okay, people always ask what I do with my eyeliner. So basically what I do, just pull my eye down like that <laughs> and then I literally go on the lid thing I don't know what it's called, eye duct? I don't even know what it's called it sounds so uneducated this video, I just keep saying like I don't know what it is I don't know what it is I really need some vibes right now but YouTube would copyright it so I can't But just imagine Jake is playing with Ivan, life's good Oh my god guys this palette is life changing Kat Von D, Lolita Povida, I think that's what it's called. It's upside down. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god, it is literally the best thing ever. Yeah, you can see here, this is how I'm propping up my camera <laughs> on a plant pot, but yeah. Literally insane. So we're gonna go in with this, and I think I'm gonna go for a bit of a pink tone today. They don't hate me, but I can't find any brushes, and it's stressing me out, so looks like I'm just gonna use my finger, which is fine. Just did a refill on the best green tea. I mean, green tea is the best drink on the planet, I swear to God. Oh, fuck's sake, do your eyes have a water, and then it just runs everything. Did my glutes and abs workout this morning, so that's another checklist on the glow up, which, I mean, it's nothing different for me, really. <laughs> All right work out like most days and I also did my nails so get me we're gonna go in with Esperanza yeah I really need to hurry up to be honest honestly though what is your favourite accent my favourite accent is Australian oh my god Australian boys mm. oh, just hit differently the accent hits different I swear down and my least favourite, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, don't hate me if you're Irish, but oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't even deal, like, <laughs> it just, it doesn't, I just don't understand, like, I just don't understand. Aussie accent, oh my god, you, if you know, you know. Let's hope I find an Aussie boy when I'm over there, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Just layer that up, layer that up. 
And now we're gonna go in with the Lolita Por Vida. Cool, I'm getting quite good at these pronunciations. On the eyelid right here. Yes, yes, yes. Get that depth. That already looks so much better. We all look a bit more put together. I think we're gonna go in with the Juanita or Carino. <laughs> Juanita, let's keep it a little bit more low-key. And then this bit is very controversial. You guys are gonna be like, what the fuck? I literally do it like from here to the eyebrow like that. It looks really bad when I just do it like that. It probably looks shit to everyone else, but we do makeup for ourselves. I've seen so many tweets like that. But I think we do makeup because we want to impress them, but really we do it for ourselves. And I'm like, can't relate. <laughs> I think most people who tweet that are honestly just trying to be relatable, let's be honest, like... I feel like shit without makeup, I know, but... I do put makeup on because I don't want everyone else to feel like shit for looking at me because I look like shit, you know? Like, realising how ugly I am, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Take another one of these. And do the same again. Oh my god, you guys, eco-friendly people. I am eco, we all know that, but you're all gonna absolutely slate me in the comments. So instead of say to me, maybe be kind and tell me if you have any alternatives. That'd be great. I feel like everyone knows me for this. I don't know, like I feel like I just don't complete a makeup look without this. It just doesn't feel right. So then we go in for a glittery thing here. I think everyone knows that. That's just how that's just, that's just how I do it. I'm also gonna put something in the middle as well. I need to hurry up. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Luna. This one is so shiny and just kind of do like, I don't know if you called a halo or something in the middle, I don't know, I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Just like a little line thing. Oh, it's like a shimmer, but it's so cool. This wasn't even gonna be a get ready with me for it. Like I was just gonna do a quick update, but I suppose it's now like a get ready with me for the glow up and then we're gonna go on a glow up journey together. So that's really fun. Oh yes, she's shining, she's shining. See that? You see that? Shining, shining. I don't know if you see that. And then all we're gonna do is finish it off with a pop of colour. This one, we're gonna go in with Rosario in the corner. Like right in the corner. Oh, she hits different. Just was thinking about it in my head and like my heart went, you know, when you get like the belly like drops. Scared as fuck. And then we're just gonna go a little bit darker right in the corner with Carino, Carino. Just to get some depth. We're feeling a bit deep. Maybe a little bit under the eye. Yeah, a little bit in the corner and a little bit under the eye. A little bit more old concealer on, which this is like five years old. And we're just gonna put it on everywhere that I picked my skin. <laughs> so don't pick your skin, kids. So when I'm stressed, so looks like it's been a stressful time, and we can say that the least. I just want to move out. Mm, okay, we're done. I really hope I'm not late, but here's the complete makeup look. Very simple, chic, snazzy. I don't even know if it's a look. It probably isn't, but we move. So this is the end of the get ready with me. I'm going to film the rest on my phone because I'm not taking a fat camera to the hairdressers because that'll be a bit weird. So the quality might be a little bit shit, but I'm going to film the whole glow up aspect oh my god my heart just went because i'm so scared but get ready for the hair transformation because these roots my hair's still a little bit wet from the shower by the way but these bad boy roots are going so let's go My roots were so bad. I'll insert the before and after pictures and you'll see how bad my roots are. I'm just looking for my dad now because I had to rush, but oh my god, guys, 
nice. <laughs> I fucking love it. So cheap compared to my other ones, and I'll 100% be going back. So, what do you think? Oh, it feels so good. I didn't have enough time to get it um, cut and curled and stuff because my dad needs to pick me up and he's got a meeting, but new me. <laughs> if you can hear that squealing, that is my dog. Boo! Because <laughs> I just got back in, but here, oh, boo boo. I wish you could say hi. I've got a little teddy bear, haven't you? But yeah, I've just got back in and I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it's probably quite long. I was talking a lot in the get ready with me, but new hair, who dis, who me? Yes, boo. So yeah, it's going to get a lot. <laughs> I thought this would show the exact kind of place that we left off. I might do a little side by side comparison if I know, if I learn how to do that. But here it is. Here is my hair. So I've got a baby lights in the end, we didn't get balayage, I've got no more roots anymore, so that's great. Um, so I've got baby lights, I had like two different toners, an icy kind of toner and like an extra icy or something toner, I don't even know because I wanted it like slightly silvery kind of thing. And yeah, it's going to take a lot of getting used to but I'm low key vibing with it. The hair feels so much softer and so much better. Oh, I'm just actually in love and it looks so nice when it's like up as well. I'll give you a little close up. So here is the glow up. And this is what it looks like from the back. So icy. Ah. I've always wanted really icy hair like ever since I was younger. What are we all thinking? Are we vibing with it? I'm vibing with it. And that's all that matters. And it was such a good price. So 100% recommend the Hair and Beauty Salon in Ketron if you want to go there and you live in Northampton. And I think the big part of a glow up that we all need to take into recognition is how much happier we are. We need to glow from the inside out in order for the full glow up. So we're glowing, we're glowing inside, we're glowing outside. We're glowing, we're glowing. That's a wrap. So I really do hope you enjoyed. I hope this highlights my quarantine glow up. I hope it's a glow up. Let me know what you think about my hair in the comments below. You can be brutally honest and yeah, let's see if I you guys think I've glowed up and I've been successful but I'm feeling better on myself and that's all that matters. I hope you're all staying safe, staying well, looking after yourself. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'd love for you to stick around. If you liked this kind of vlog style thing then let me know if you want me to do more vlogs. I don't really do vlogs but to be fair I do actually really enjoy them and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!